Hello everybody, today we're going to take a quick look at Malignant, the latest movie from director James Wan. Annabelle Wallace stars as Madison, a woman living in Seattle with her abusive husband. One day, this turd bucket loses his temper and smashes Madison's head against a wall, and she promptly locks herself in the bedroom for the night. And she has a dream about some mysterious stranger breaking into the house, killing the asshole, and then knocking her unconscious. But it turns out it may not have been just a dream, as when she wakes up the next morning, she finds out her husband is very dead. And if you've seen the movie, you know why I'm describing it that way. This ultimately leads to more mysterious events and more people ending up very dead. And Maddie starts to take a closer look at her past and a former imaginary childhood friend who may not have been imaginary after all. Juan is, of course, no stranger to horror. He's responsible for Saw, Insidious, The Conjuring, all long-running franchises. And even if you didn't know he made Saw, the opening title theme for Malignant will give that away, because it sounds so much like the Saw theme. It's also quite clear early on that it is going to be a very silly movie. The opening scene takes place in some sort of hospital or research facility where they're doing some sort of experiments on a child that appears to have superhuman powers, and the person in charge says, it's time to cut out the cancer. And I'm like, wow, really? Not just that line, but that delivery, that overdramatic delivery. Okay, well, at least I know what I'm in for. And the movie does rely on some silly horror tropes, like someone hearing a mysterious noise at the other end of a dark passageway and not turning on the lights before pursuing that noise. Like, madam, do you not realize what kind of movie you're in? Turn on the damn lights. There's also a scene where the bad guy is surrounded by people with guns and somehow none of them can land a shot despite being only a few feet away, which is not necessarily a horror trope, but it is very silly. I have seen several people describe this movie as bonkers, and honestly, I think that word is woefully inadequate. Not because it was hard to follow, mind you. Despite the heroine being a bit of an unreliable narrator, I actually didn't have a problem with that. It's bonkers because it is just batshit insane in terms of the plot. Based on the title and the opening scenes, I initially had a pretty good idea where they were going to go, and at first I kind of shrugged it off because I just thought it was way too ridiculous, and honestly, I completely underestimated James Wan there, and that's on me. I should know better. And really, I applaud him for not holding back, because if you're gonna go batshit, you gotta go all the way, and by God, he did. There may have been some moments where he went a little too hard. For example, the villain of the story, a mysterious person by the name of Gabriel, kidnaps a woman and holds her hostage in Madison's attic. And somehow this goes completely unnoticed by anyone. Despite many people coming and going in the house, her sister Sydney was there multiple times and yet no one heard any noise coming from the attic, really? And I do wish they had been a bit more consistent with Gabriel's powers, because sometimes he seems to have this supernatural teleportation ability, and other times he just doesn't. He also has superhuman strength and the ability to communicate over radio waves, and they don't even bother to try to explain how that works. But then again, if you're gonna go batshit, you gotta go all the way, and they did. The acting was pretty solid overall. I liked Annabelle Wallace as Madison. Uh, Maddie Hassan, who plays her sister Sydney, was also good. And they feel very much like sisters. Although the characters are not blood-related, they're adopted sisters. And that's pretty much the point of the movie. Family does not have to be blood. And sometimes your blood relatives can be assholes. I do like Juan's directing in this, for the most part. Uh, he does incorporate some pretty cool transitions, which, based on his previous work, does not surprise me. I do question his use of the fisheye lens in a few scenes. That really didn't work. The soundtrack was... interesting. Uh, clearly inspired by the Saw franchise. In fact, there was one song in particular during this movie that sounded like a cross between the Saw theme, and the Pixies, Where Is My Mind? Did anyone else hear that, or was it just me? Because that was really weird. So, I'm not really sure how to call this one. Uh, I don't think I would say it's a good movie, necessarily. It did some good things. It also did some questionable things, and some very silly things. But, 
I wasn't bored. It may not have made a whole lot of sense, but I did have fun. If you don't have HBO Max, I don't know if it's necessarily worth paying money to see it in a theater, but once it hits VOD, I can definitely recommend it as a rental, especially if you're a fan of horror and James Wan. And that's all I have to say about Malignant. Till next time, take care.